Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about the second problem of today's weekly contest, incre increment sub-matrices by 1. The problem states that you are given a positive integer n and initially you have a n cross n matrix which are filled with zeros, right? And you are given some number of some queries. Each query suggests that you will increment the value of a matrix starting at row 1 comma column 1 and ending at row 2 comma column 2 by 1. So in this particular case let's say uh, R1, R, row 1 and column 1 is 1 comma 1 so this is the starting point. Row 2 and column 2 is 2 comma 2 so this is the ending point. So you it is saying that everything here should be incremented by 1. So initially they all were 0 and now they all will become 1. So the second query is 0 0 1 1. So basically everything starting at here and ending at here should be incremented. So this all will be incremented and it was 1 from before so it become 2. So finally you have to return this final matrix after you have performed all the queries. right? Now notice that there are 10 to the power 4 queries and if you do this in naive fashion like you will just iterate over all the sub matrices it will require you order n square time. So order n square time is 500 into 500 so it is already 10 to the power 4 like greater than 10 to the power 4 and there are 10 to the power 4 queries so you will be doing order n square for each of these queries and hence it will not pass the time complexity right so you have to do something better so this is very standard problem uh, prefix sum right so let's just try to solve this in first in one dimensions first and then we will look at how to solve it in a two dimension right so let's say you have been given like here you have been given row 1 comma column 1 up till row 2 comma column 2 let's say there is only one dimension like there is only single array instead of 2d matrix and they are saying that okay uh, start from here and end at here and increment everything in between by 1 so what exactly would you have done so a very standard approach to solve this kind of problem is you basically say okay i will add one here right so adding one here i will say that okay if i am if i am adding one here I am adding one to everything after this, right? And then I have to add one in this particular range. So this ray, like this particular value would not be included. So I will just subtract one from here. So what does subtract one from here mean? Again, subtract one from here would mean that we are subtracting one from all this range, right? So basically we are adding one and then we are saying that like we are adding one to the starting point and subtracting one at the ending point plus one index and then we have if we take a prefix sum we will see only the value which are which lie between this are affected so in this particular case this will like if we take a prefix sum this will be zero now zero plus one is one then one plus zero is again one one plus one is one one plus one one plus zero is one and then 1 minus 1 which is 0 and then 0 plus 0 is 0. So basically what you saw that we have to add 1 in this particular range right and we just added 1 here and we kind of assumed that okay if I am adding 1 here it is similar to adding 1 to all the indices after this. So if I am add, like, adding 1 to all the indices but I have to add it up till here. So I will just subtract one from rest of the indices, right? So, and if we take the prefix sum, we will see, okay, only these range, only elements in this range are incremented, nothing else, right? So hope this makes sense. Now, if you, if you have to solve the same problem in a two dimension, uh, instead of two dimension in a one dimension array, I hope you can solve this now, like with this prefix sum approach, right? So the idea is to replicate the exact same thing in two dimension array. Right. So basically adding one here means that we are adding one to entire thing after this. Right. So in two dimension, what does it mean? It means that, okay, uh, let's just, uh, okay, let's just replicate this one dimension. Sorry. Let's just replicate this one dimension here to uh, a few times. Right. So let's say you are adding one here. So adding one here, it means you will be adding one to everything after this. Right that was the that was it means in one dimension and that was it will mean in second dimension as well so if you are adding one here it means you are adding one to all of the elements after it right so now let's say you have to add one uh, here and then you have to subtract one from here let's say so 
if you subtract one from here it means you are subtracting one from everything here right so that what that's what it means in two dimension right let's just uh, now try to look at a particular query and see how it works like which all elements you have to include to solve this to solve this right so let's say this is the array or uh, this is a matrix and you have to add one to everything starting at here and ending at here right so what we just saw that okay if i will just add one here right let's say i will add one here now if i add one here it means i am adding one to everything in this range right in this particular range but we don't want anything to be added here or here or here right so these are all extras so you need to remove it now how to remove it let's say you subtract one from here if you subtract one from here you will see okay i have removed all these elements now still these all elements are left right these all elements are left so how will you remove all these elements just subtract one from here right these all elements will be removed now you will see okay this element are common between uh sorry this element these elements are common between this part and this part right so this elements get subtracted twice like if you just subtract one this this one will be subtracted from here and if we subtract one from here this one will be subtracted from here as well so this one gets subtracted twice so let's just add one back here to compensate that right so let's just uh, try to look at final matrix so let's just say there are there is one more there is one more column right now you add one here you adding one if we say that everything in this range will be affected by one right now let's say you subtract one from here uh, so everything here are now neutralized now this you subtract one from here so everything here is now neutralized right but this part get neutralized twice so this has one subtracted two times so let's just add one again to this part this will be adding one to this all elements and hence we would get what we want right so you can just see if you do a prefix sum row wise and then column wise you will be getting exact same thing so exact same thing that we have applied for one dimension array we are applying for two dimension array here so we add one adding one here means everything added here minus one uh, you accepted minus one here you subtract minus one from this all elements you saw this elements got subtracted twice so just add one to compensate that now let's just see how to uh, calculate the final value let's say you have done this for all the queries right so now you know what are the values for like what are the different values for each rows for all the queries let's say this is the value now you need to find out or you need to calculate the final matrix the final matrix is not this right so my final matrix would be something that contains one in this portion and rest are zero so let's see how it happens so the empty cells are zero right now let's take a prefix sum row wise and then column wise now why we are taking two way prefix sum because notice that if we take a prefix sum here it will just accumulate everything here to this particular piece right so let's say there is something some element here and you take a prefix sum row wise if you take a prefix sum row wise this element would be propagated to everything here but what we have just uh, said is this elements will be propagated to everything in this range right like in all this range so if we propagate everything to here we also need to propagate everything down to all these cells as well right so what we will do we will take a after taking a prefix sum in row wise these numbers are propagated in all these cells right now if i take a prefix sum again over column notice that this number were replicated in all these cells now if i take a prefix sum over column this number would be replicated to all these cells right and like basically every num this number contribution was there already in all these cells now if i take a prefix sum over the column this contribution would be replicated to all the next cells as well right so hope this makes sense right we we are doing a prefix sum over rows first and then we are doing a prefix sum over columns and af after doing that we are sure that a number which is present here gets propagated to everything in this range
like in this entire matrix this number will be propagated right so and that's what we want so now if i do a prefix sum over the row what will happen this would all become zero and this will become one right this will become one this will become zero and this will become zero and this will become minus one this will become minus one this becomes zero and this becomes zero right now if i take a prefix sum over the column over the column this all will be zero this all will be zero this is zero this is one this is now become one right this is become one now one minus one which is zero now zero plus zero which is zero right similarly if i take here one one it will become zero right it will become zero one one similarly zero and zero and finally this all are zero so hope you saw how we are trying how we have solved this right the code is very very simple we just have to add one here subtract one these two places and add one here that's it right now i am not like uh, i would strongly encourage you to pause the video right now and code it out yourself and try to submit it uh, by yourself because it is very straightforward if you know how to do it in one dimension right so let's just look at the code as mentioned we have these four things we are adding one here we are subtracting one at two places and then we are adding one at again one place after that and finally we do a we, we do a two way prefix sums first over the row or second over the column like it doesn't matter which one you do first uh, you just the motive is just to propagate a value to everything in the sub like in the sub array starting from here right and doesn't matter if you do prefix sum of row first or column first uh, either way this value will be propagated to every cells after it right so hope this makes sense if you have any doubts in this problem please post them in the comment section below i would have to answer if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one thank you